The representatives of Women's Initiative for Gender Justice from Northern Uganda met with other activists to discuss the impact of the Rome Statute on women affected by war crimes. One of the notable personalities was Kenya's Nobel Peace Laureate, Professor Wangari Madhai, who showed solidarity with women who have endured years of suffering due to the LRA war. Rosalba Oyo, a founder member of the People's Voice for Peace, an NGO, says injustices against women have not been given as much attention as other war crimes. We believe ICC lacks neutrality because for a long time it has been very rigid about the idea of investigating atrocities committed by government actors. Women activists feel the Rome Statute has not adequately addressed the plight of rape victims, with some of them calling the ICC a toothless bulldog and are now calling for faster action against perpetrators of rape. This court is just a bulldog that is capable of, by, of barking and not even having the, the, what, the biting instinct. The women activists were particularly concerned about the gaps in laws in many countries that do not allow rape victims get faster justice. A woman has to prove that there was resistance. She has to link the crime against her to the perpetrator. And then there is the element of time. It has to be quickly investigated and documented if, if she is to succeed. So it, in a way it puts a very high burden of proof on the woman. The activists want the ICC to prosecute army commanders for any case of rape committed by a soldier under their charge. The women hope the voices and experiences of victims who bore the brunt of atrocities will help influence the outcome of this ICC review conference that ends on 11th June. Chris Ochamringa, NTV, tonight.